Hey, Fine Arts family, it's David Alexis, the Montana Student Ministries Director. And I just wanna take a, a moment just to say thank you to each and every family, each and every pastor, and especially each and every student that shared your gifts and abilities with our state. You know, it's definitely an unprecedented time for us to do, have to do a virtual fine arts. Myself, I would have loved to have done it live because it's so much more fun. There's so much more energy when we do things together. However, we had to do it this way, virtually, just the same way that we're doing this awards time. Typically at the end of our Fine Arts Festival, we would come together, enjoy a meal, and celebrate one another. Uh, before we do that part today virtually, I wanna give you some encouragement. One of the amazing things um, that has happened during this crazy pandemic is we're locked at home. We're having to do things differently. And I believe that during this time, what Fine Arts really stands for is going to become bigger than it's ever been before. Students are going to discover the gifts and abilities that God has given them. They're going to be able to develop them. And over the next year, they're going to be able to be deployed, not only in the local church, but in their homes and their communities. So I just want to encourage each and every one of you, um, although Although this is a different type of fine arts, this is definitely an awesome way to begin the new journey of the new way that we'll do fine arts in Montana. So before we share who received Superior with Imitation, I'd like to show you just a small video of the different presentations that were submitted for our Fine Arts Festival. I just love how talented our Montana students are. Instead of me reading off the names of all the people who receive Superior with Imitation, I've asked some youth pastors from across our state to do that. Let's take a look. Hello, my name is Pastor Patrick and I'm from Bozeman and I get announced those who receive Superior with Invitation in the Arts Division. Starting off with Alyssa Rockwell from Hamilton, Ann Mantha from Dillon, Anthony Anglia from Hamilton, Ashley Biggs from Bozeman Summit, Woo! Aurora Dahl from Polson, Brianne Lanes, Brianne Lanes again from Whitehall, and David Gibbs from Circle. Great job. And now we'll be continuing the art division for those who were awarded Superior with Invitation. Elaine Atkinson, Haver, Visual Art, Painting and Drawing. John Asia Hurst, Lendive, Visual Art, Painting, and Drawing. Jordan Donaldson, Hamilton, Visual Art, Alternative Media. Kiara Saylor, Billings Chapel of Hope, Visual Art, Painting, and Drawing. Liam Dahl, Polson, Visual Art, Three Dimensional. Mackendra Ledgerwood, Ennis, Photography, Digital. Myrie Dixon, Hamilton, Photography, Digital. Olivia Crozian, Hamilton, Visual Art, Painting and Drawing. Congratulations to all participants. And now we are announcing the Communication Division with Superior with Invitation. We have Aurora Dahl from Poston with Short Sermon. We have Jordan Donaldson from Hamilton with a short film. And we have Nathan Gentry from Glendive with a short sermon. And now I'm going to be announcing for the Drama Division Superior with Invitation. And we have Central Youth Drama from Great Falls, 
Central with the Drama Ensemble. Great job and congratulations to all of you. I just want to take this opportunity to congratulate Kaylin Seeger and Cassidy Casterline on your Superior with Invitation to Fine Arts. I know this is an unprecedented year and this would be followed with a trip to nationals. And for that, I do offer my condolences and apologies. But once again, congratulations to you. The work and the effort that you put into it, you truly are strong people. So congratulations once again from me to you. Well done. Now it's time to announce the Global Division. Receiving a Superior with Invitation, we have, in the category of Vocal Solo Classical, Christiana Salki from Poulsen. In the category of Vocal Solo, we have Liam Dahl from Poulsen. In the category of Songwriting, we have Liam Dahl from Poulsen. In the category of Vocal Ensemble Small, we have the Three Ds from Poulsen. In the category of Worship Team Large, we have Central Youth Worship, Great Falls Central. In the category of Vocal Solo, we have Chanel Kirschman, Great Falls Central. In the category Worship Team Large, we have Elevator from Polson. In the category of Vocal Solo, we have Camden Burrow, Polson. In the category of Vocal Solo, we have Cassidy Casterline, from Billings Freedom. Great job everybody and congratulations. And now, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, the Fine Arts 2020 Writing Division Superior with Invitation announcement. Brianne Lanes, Whitehall. Book chapter. Congratulations, Brianne. I know I've said it over and over again throughout this video, how proud and how thankful I am that you've all shared your gifts and abilities. But there are a lot of pastors in our state that are thankful for you and they want to just give you a word of encouragement. Hey guys, this is Pastor Lee in Hamilton. Just wanted to say congratulations to each student that participated in this year's fine arts. Great job. And also, I know all the time that you guys spent preparing. One of the principles I live by is time spent in preparation is never wasted. So let you continue to be used with your gift, your talent for the glory of God. Bless each and every one of you. Hey, this is Pastor Mike Hamley from Scobie Assembly of God. And I just wanted to tell everybody that was in fine arts, Man, I am so proud of you guys sharing your talents and abilities, and thank you for giving of yourself to it. It was such a, it's such a blessing to each and every one of us, Lord, you know, to see that growth and to watch you guys. And so I just wanted to say congratulations and thank you so much. Hey, congratulations all students from Montana who participated in this year's Fine Arts. Even though it was a different year, um, what doesn't change is that we do and we give our talents and abilities for God's glory and just want to encourage you, thank you for worshiping God. Thank you for using your abilities to give God glory and share the gospel. I'm proud of you. What's up 406? This is Pastor Jason. Man, I just want to say how proud I am of you, uh, the students of Montana representing Fine Arts this year. To everybody who participated this year, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you for discovering, developing, and deploying your gifts and your talents. Listen, I know it's changing times. I know things are crazy. If there has ever been a time that fine arts can shine, it is now. It is today. It is your neighborhood. It is your community. It is where God has called you. You know, New Testament, Jesus looked at his disciples and he said, go into all the world and preach the gospel. What better time than now and what better place than right out your front door? Listen, COVID-19 is throwing a lot of curveballs. The one thing, the one thing that will never change is Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Use your gifts, use your talents to glorify the Lord and continue to shine. Thank you guys for participating in Fine Arts. 
and I'm proud of each and every one of you. From Polson, Montana, Pastor Jason signing off. Love you guys. Hey, I wanna thank all of you who participated in Fine Arts this year. It was a bit of a disruption from our normal schedule, but thank you for your faithfulness to use your giftings and your talents for God. And we're just gonna pray that God will continue to bless and to lead and to guide each one of you in the giftings that he's personally given you. So thank you so much. Well, that's all we have for you for this year's Fine Arts Festival. Again, thank you each and every person from the pastors to the parents and especially you students for all the hard work that you've put into this. I know that next year's festival is going to be amazing. So make sure right now you work on those gifts and abilities you have. Begin talking to your friends that you know that have gifts and abilities that they should share. And most importantly, serve, 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 serve in your local church. I'm gonna pray a prayer over you guys and then we'll end this video. Father, I just thank you for each and every family that is represented here, each and every church, each and every student that has shared their gifts. Lord, this isn't about a competition. This is about finding out the gifts and abilities that you've given us and developing those and the best that we can, and then, Lord, sharing them with those around us. God, I thank you for blessing us with different talents and abilities. And God, I pray for the churches as we begin to open our doors in the months to come, Lord, that lives will be changed and transformed because of the gifts and abilities that you've given each and every one of these students, each and one, every one of these parents, and each and every one of these pastors. God, we love you and we give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Fine Arts family. I love you and look forward to next year's festival.